Now he can go in for it, so we're, we're gonna do the be the next best thing we can do, which is pressure and try and get, take care of the pump this way. And he needs to choose what he wants to defend, right? Is he gonna defend the pump or is he gonna defend the tower? And you can see there, I think he had a little bit of decision fatigue. He had like a little bit of brain lag and he actually lost the entire tower, so that's absolutely crazy. What's up gamers, it's Jerky here and today we're going to be completing an entire 12 win classic challenge with log bait. And kind of the goal of the video is to teach a lot of you how to play log bait. People ask me a lot of times on my streams like, oh, how do I play log bait? How do I play log bait? Um, and so the goal of today is to kind of like show you throughout the classic challenge, the fundamentals of log bait, what, what you're supposed to do. That was a really bad tornado. It didn't even get the, the mortar off of the night. And so throughout the classic challenge, you know, we'll probably place different, we'll face different levels of competition, like people that aren't as good or people that are good and just kind of walking you through like how to play log bait. It's not necessarily the most meta deck, but I enjoy it. I think it has a ton of outplay potential, and I'm always inside the top 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 in the entire world with this deck. So I love Logbait, uh, and I hope to teach you something in this video. So in our first game here against SRC10, he is running Mortar, which is actually not a bad matchup for Logbait. It can be tricky, but it's by no means like a hard counter or anything like that. Okay, this dude's deck is absolutely crazy. Um, <laughs> he has Expo and Mortar, which is really, really weird. Um, so I'm gonna do this. I don't think I'll have enough to like defend it by any means. Uh, yeah, and he doesn't. He gets like a little prince down, but that's not gonna do anything. So again, <laughs> the whole point of this video is to show you how to play log bait against unorthodox decks as well as meta decks. So this guy's already running a deck that is extremely not meta. Um, but that's kind of where log bait thrives. Like log bait is really good at punishing decks that are unorthodox um, because of its outplay potential, and it's just good. Like it's so good at getting positive elixir trades and defending. The deck is in the bottom left. I don't know if I already talked about that, but you'll be able to take a look at my deck here. I'm going to go like this, and then once that locks, we're going to go boom, boom, boom. And that is an easy defense. He also just used his log, so I'm going to pressure with the Goblin Gang. I haven't seen him have cards that have splash other than log, so once he logs, we can go for our barrel if he chooses to log. If he chooses to log. Yeah, <laughs> okay, fine with me. So yeah, pretty easy first game. Honestly, this guy's deck was really bad. <laughs> like, not, not in a disrespectful way, he just had a really bad deck. Um, so good first win, one win into the Classic Challenge, 11 left to go. So we'll take the dub, catch you in the next match. All right, into our next match here against SDR2. I, I'm assuming we'll play some really hard matchups whenever I, I do or play classic challenges. There's always people that are running meta decks like Giant Beatdown is really popular or Goblin Drill is really popular. So I'm really excited to show you that those matchups are winnable. You know, if you're not, you know, in the top 100, of course, where sometimes it could be impossible. People are all, all humans. Everyone makes mistakes when you're playing. So I genuinely think that you can win any matchup with this deck for the most part. So yeah, it is gonna be Goblin Drill. Goblin Drill, one of the most popular deck archetypes in the game right now. So we're going to do this because he used his arrows. I just want to force out Elixir. Maybe he'll Skeletons. We're not going to let him get away with that. So right off the bat, he was really aggressive with his push. And we weren't able to fully defend it. But if you look, we're going to get a ton of damage here. And he still has to spend. Yeah, perfect. We can actually just defend this with an Ice Spirit because the Dagger Duchess is so good. Then we have the Knight down here. I want to force out the arrows here, so I'm going to go Princess. I think that's really the only thing he has in hand for it. I don't know his entire deck, but I was like, yeah, I'll probably go for arrows. Then we're going to go for a Goblin Gang because the Dagger Duchess is out of daggers. And he's pretty, I was going to say low on Elixir, but Evo Skeletons, you know how they are. Get out of jail free card. We're going to pressure while the Dagger Duchess is recharging. He went on really low Elixir, so you can see we're going to get a really nice punish here. And already... Um, Things are looking up for us. We know that his evolution is Evo Skeletons and I think Evo Valkyrie. So we'll probably Valkyrie on top of this, I feel like, or E-Wiz or something like that. So I'm just going to let it go. Yeah, no no point hyper defending this. And when you do play against Goblin Drill as Logbait, most of the time you want to go in the opposite lane. Because they'll defend and they'll poison in the same lane as you. So you don't want to give them like that counter push, if that makes sense. Just lie here just to clean all of this up. Well, Paul, he could go for arrows here, so I'm going to be ready for that. We're going to log just to make sure we don't take any additional damage. And that was a really good defense. One of the ways you, you can defend a goblin draw a lot of ways. The best way is to place like a tank in the middle right here. Like you can see where I'm hovering my knight. Because most of the time, that's where they play their goblin drill. You can also just log it once it loses a lot of its HP. That's a really good play as well. I'll try and show you the multiple ways that you can defend against it. 
Okay, he's gonna go in, so I'm gonna go Ice Spirit here. Goblin Gang down low. We're only gonna eat one shot. Okay, so his spells are arrows and poison. It's kind of annoying. I'm gonna Princess here just to force out Elixir. I would love to force out arrows or something like that. That's perfect. Now he doesn't have arrows to defend on that side, so we're gonna get a little bit of damage. I thought we were gonna get a little bit of damage. We're gonna pressure here. He doesn't have Valkyrie in cycle. He doesn't have arrows in cycle. So he goes in. Oh, he does. He cycled back to Valkyrie. So we're gonna go like this. Tesla actually gonna do a really good job defending. We're gonna pressure here because he has the arrows. We have log ready for skeletons. He'll probably E-Wiz when he gets enough. In fact, yeah, I was gonna say, there it is. I was pre-logging in case he did go for skeletons. You'll notice that he switched into my lane. That's probably the, the proper play as a drill player to switch into my lane. So I'm gonna drop a knight at the back. And against drill, oftentimes you need a rocket cycle if they give you value. So he gave me value. I'm gonna go ahead and take the rocket onto that Valkyrie. I'm not very intimidated. Yeah, I was gonna say, best he can do is like a drill poison and that's not gonna get any damage. Honestly, against Goblin Drill, the biggest threat usually is the Evo Berry because the Evo Berry can splash. Um, but we don't have to worry about that in this situation here because he does not have Evo Berry. Um, so we're really good. Like, there's really no reason that we should lose this matchup. It could happen, but like I said, no reason that we should. We're gonna get really aggressive here. Beautiful. Now we're just two rockets away, roughly. Rockets do 371. We have a, a Tesla protecting us. He still needs to spend on my princess. He opts to just go for a drill poison. I'm gonna go like this. I have log ready in case he plays skeletons on the other side. Yeah, has to Valkyrie. We're gonna go for skeletons. We're gonna go for goblin barrel. And rocket does 371. So all we need to do in this situation is cycle back to another rocket. We're back. And uh, we cut it a little close, but honestly, I never felt like we were out of control of that game the entire time. So good game to that Goblin Drill player. Not the easiest matchup, but hopefully you learned something. So that's another dub. Catch you in the next match. Okay, into our next match here against RL. Two wins into the Classic Challenge, so things might heat up. Expect to see a lot of Dagger Duchess in your Classic Challenge. It is still the best tower troop before the nerf. In terms of starting play, you don't really want to make a starting play when you're running Log Bait. Uh, if they have Dagger Duchess, because your barrel just kind of gets eviscerated. Um, so you can kind of wait, and then you can cycle your log. Or you could go Princess at the bridge, but I usually don't. I recommend against that until you know their entire deck. Giant Skeleton is very, very menacing for us, to be completely honest. Um, he's just a really, really big tank. It's kind of hard to defend. Okay, Ice Spirit might jump there. And I'm going to log just to keep my Princess alive. You are able to activate King Tower against uh, Firecracker. But I would rather just get it off the board, force him to spend more on the princess. That's one of the things I, I feel like I see people do, like, incorrectly with log bait is the way they use your their princess. While princess is a very effective source of damage, the main point of princess is to just force your opponent to play elixir. It is a card that they cannot ignore. When you play princess at the bridge, you are threatening infinite damage on their tower. So that is the reason why you princess, is to force them to spend something on it. You want to force out that elixir response. We're going to go like this to get our king tower activated. Beautiful. Once that gets activated and that firecracker shoots, we're going to go for this goblin gang. And it kind of looks like he's playing like a hog deck. I don't know for sure, but we'll see. We're going to have our knight ready here if he supports this musketeer. He opts not to. We're just going to log it. Dagger Duchess is going to clean most of it up. So really good start. I don't fully know his entire deck, but from what I've seen, I'm not too threatened. I'm going to Princess in the back here. You can see he keeps predicting my Princess. So when players are really good at predicting your Princess, uh, sometimes it's better to just play it at the back. Sometimes the threat of Princess is better than the actual Princess itself, if you know what I mean. Okay, Knight is going to tank for that barrel. And so we're going to get a ton of damage, which is awesome. He also wastes his Evo Skeletons. So we're gonna log, just to take care of most of this. And this dude hasn't even like touched my tower this entire time. He's already BMing, he's, he's sending the good lucks. I'm gonna Evo Tesla just to catch anything. Horrible time to go for the giant skeleton, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why he did that. Um, yeah, my man is frustrated. We're gonna knight here. Looks like he was running a clone deck. You wanna DPS this down as quickly as possible. Just to make sure it doesn't cross the bridge. No chance of it taking our tower here. So this guy was running a really cheesy clone deck. He also didn't play it really well. But to be honest, uh, we have a pretty good matchup against clones. So I'm going to go ahead and cycle back to a log. Uh, and go ahead and toss out the GGs. Easy matchup against this guy. He was kind of a bot. But that's the power of log bait. 
if you have a good matchup and you play well, you'll just steamroll people. He literally did not touch your tower, so good third win. We'll catch you in the next match. Into our next match against this guy with the cool Dagger, Dagger Duchess banner. They also are from Egypt, which is where the best player in the world lives, Muhammad Light. So I'm sure he knows a little something. Okay. I know that play looked kind of dumb, but it actually is pretty effective against the Dagger Duchess because the knight will tank for a lot of the daggers. Oh, horrible Goblin Gang. The reason I supported with the Goblin Gang was because uh, the knight was going to tank for the daggers. Um, but it's all good. Let's see what we want. I'm going to try and get my King Tower activated here. I'm going to go like this, then like this, and this should activate King Tower. Please. Yeah, there we go. Huge King Tower activation. King Tower is really helpful against Mega Knight. You can usually just play two low health troops in the middle and pull the Mega Knight to your King Tower like I did. Um, it's really helpful against Mega Knight. It's really helpful against Hog Rider. So it was worth the little bit of damage that we took to go for it. And I wanted to show you how to do it. We'll see how he supports this. If he doesn't play anything, we can just chill because the King Tower will help out. Now, one shot's not too bad. In this matchup, it feels like I, I would want to go opposite lane. In general, when you play Log Bait, uh, you aren't always capitalizing off of like a counter push. Uh, so you a lot of times want to go opposite lane, be in the opposite lane of your opponent. It's just like thematic. There are very few matchups that I can think of where you want to go same lane. I'm going to Princess because I have a Tesla up. So if he plays like a troop or something, it's going to push into a Tesla. And you can see there, that Princess was really good. We got two shots and we forced out a four Elixir Tesla. So it was a plus one trade and we got all of that damage. So I would write that off as a good Tesla. With the hand that I have, I just want to cycle log on the tower. When you go up against Mega Knight, you want to be wary cycling your Knight. Unless they play the Mega Knight, because that's like your best response for it is the ground tank of Mega Knight. Okay, he goes for the Evo Knight. I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to Tesla because we need to DPS this all down as quickly as possible. Um, because the Dagger Duchess is going to run out of daggers. We're going to go like this. Once that berry shoots one more time, we're going to go for the gang. Yeah, and he, he did get a lot of chip there, uh, but that was a really big push. He had both of his Evos. So if you can walk away from a double Evo push uh, and be relatively unscathed in terms of your tower health, you know, I, I would write that off as a big success. So this dude is straight up just running a mid-ladder menace deck. I'm going to Princess again just to force out Elixir. Maybe force out like a 4 Elixir Tesla. We actually forced out the Knight, which is awesome. I want to have the option of going into both lanes. Because like I mentioned, I don't really want to push into his lane. Log to Cycle here. I'm going to go like this because I think he's going to Mega Knight on my Knight. See, now he spent a Wizard at the back. He spent a Tesla. He can't afford a Mega Knight. So he has to play Barry or something. Okay, Arrows. We're going to Princess here. If he goes for a berry, I might go for Tesla. Oh, can this log to keep my princess alive? Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful plays. He's gonna have to spend on the princess. That's what I'm saying. You're forcing out perpetual elixir. He went for the wizard. He couldn't afford, afford a barrel. We're gonna go for a princess right away. Ice spirits maybe catch a berry. Goes for a Mega Knight. That's fine with me. We're gonna go for a Tesla. His only spell that I know of is arrows. So Tesla gets so much value against this guy. And look at how easy that defense was. Okay, he has poison. Boom. Poison arrows. Not on, not really good spells for us. Like, he doesn't have a small spell. And when you play against a deck that doesn't run a small spell, you absolutely dominate. So really, really good damage there. We're going to go like this here. He was trying to catch me with that berry, but he's not going to get anything from that. Once my knight takes that out... Ooh, I should have waited. My fault. I was going to wait for my knight to take that out, but we're still going to take care of the berry with all of these spear goblins. An evil Tesla here. Oh, my mistake. We're going to redirect. That sequence got a little sloppy for me. I'm, I'm not going to lie to y'all. But uh, that Hog Rider was really, really bad. Split lane pressure here. Depending on how he defends it, I might go for a Princess at the bridge. I'm going to log to take care of that wizard. Now we have threats onto both lanes. Oh. Mm, I was trying to keep my Princess alive. My fault. He goes for that Hog Rider into the Tesla. Kind of crazy. Honestly, in Triple Elixir, you can get away with a lot of Rocket Cycles. So I might consider doing that, but I'm just going to chill. Honestly, I don't want to throw the game away. Especially because I don't really feel threatened by his pushes. Like, if I defend well, it's really hard for him to get damage. So uh, we're going to cycle this Rocket because he cycled the Poison. Po rocket, Cycle, and Triple Elixir is absolutely crazy. We're going to go like this. We'll have Log ready in case he pre-arrows. He goes for that Mega Knight in the back, which is going to get, like, almost no value. And that puts it into rocket range. So good game to this Mega Knight player. 
There was a little bit of slop in the middle, but for the most part, I was never really too threatened other when that, other than when that Mega Knight connected. So GG's to that guy. If you struggle with Mega Knight Wizard, there's proof right there that you can beat it. So we'll take the dub, catch you in the next match. Okay, uh, here we are, four wins into the challenge. We're gonna go ahead and keep grinding. So with my starting hand here, I usually choose to wait. And then if they don't play anything, I'll cycle log. He drops the giant skeleton, so I'm gonna drop the Tesla. Giant Skeleton, like I said, it just eats up all of the daggers from the Dagger Duchess, so very, very menacing. I'm going to play a Knight as well to protect my Tesla. I'm sure he's going to play something behind it. Okay, he opts not to, so he just sacks it. It's fine with me as well. We're just going to cycle a log here. Looks like he's playing... I don't know. It could be Goblin Joe. could be Beatdown. I don't really know. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. We're going to do this. We're already back to another Tesla. But our Dagger Duchess is uh, running low on daggers. We're going to log here just to limit the damage that this gets. Perfect. We'll see if he arrows the Princess. We can go for an Ice Spirit. So he's playing Goblin Giant. Goblin Giant is making a resurgence. It was pretty bad at the beginning of this meta. But there's this deck that's going around that's really popular. So it's unfortunate. We saw right away that he had that Earthquake. So we know he's going to have really good answers for our Tesla. We find ourselves down a thousand damage and stuff like that can happen happen in single elixir but net net I'm, co I'm confident in my matchup and I'm confident in my ability to, to bring back this match. The princess in the back. I think in this matchup it's really important to not be afraid to cycle Teslas because he does have the earthquake so we need to take advantage of the fact that we have a faster cycle than him to try and break through. Okay, yeah, so he, he goes for the earthquake. We're gonna go like this. I would like my princess to start helping out with those minions. Perfect, she does. And that's what I'm talking about. We weren't scared of the earthquake. We knew that the earthquake was a threat, but we knew that we were gonna be able to defend. So shout out to the Evo Tesla for having extra HP and we pretty much evened up the game here. I don't think he'll pop the ability. I don't think it would be that good. Yeah, we're gonna go in with the Goblet Gang here, force out the zap and keep in mind that the next zap that he has will be Evo. He opts to defend with the berry instead. I don't hate that. Dagger Duchess is charging up, so we're going to go in here. And like I said, early Tesla is the name of the game because you know he's going to get back to another one. One of the things we have going for us in this matchup is the Princess. Okay, yep. There's the uh, the Earthquake. We knew that that was coming. So we're going to go like this. Knight. And get ready. We already have another Tesla in cycle. I'm just going to cycle a log on the little Prince. I thought about rocketing it, but I think it's a little too aggressive. If he's using the arrows on offense, then he's not using them on defense. So our barrels will get, get a lot of value. Can get a lot of value, I should say. Okay, Earthquake comes down. Like I said, kind of expected at this point. As long as that Evo Berry doesn't hit our tower, we're, we're really happy. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. I need to pressure here because I don't I, I can't let him go all in, and that's really, really good pressure from us. Our princess is living. He goes for the little prince here. He'll probably pop the ability. He popped it too early. So now he can't support his push. He has to use his Evo Zap on defense, and that's exactly what we wanted. I'm gonna continue to keep my princesses alive here. And you can see we snuck into the lead here. It's really important to pressure while defending to force out elixir from them because otherwise it's really hard for you to defend and that's what people sometimes struggle to understand is you don't you're not really expecting to break through all the time you just can't allow them to um pressure you without you you firing back because otherwise it's too much for you to deal with we're going to get at least one shot probably two because he used arrows and that's going to be ggs there's no way he defends that so like i mentioned we were able to hold our own against goblin giant uh, i know a lot of you struggle against beatdown but that's how you play the matchup so ggs to this guy we'll take the dub catch you in the next one all right into our next match here against kevito and i'm happy with the variety of matchups we've gotten so far we've had a little bit of everything which is really nice i'm gonna princess here just because it'll splash onto the skeletons goes in for the goblin drill opposite lane Ice Spirit here is going to do a decent job and log, so that's one of the cheapest ways you can defend a Goblin Drill. If you're really crazy, you can actually just go for a log. Um, once the Dagger Duchess takes away like 80% of its health, you can actually just go for a log, and that's a pretty good way to, to defend. So we're up here against Goblin Drill, one of the, I think, most like annoying matchups in the game for me personally, uh, mostly because of the Evo Bomber, and I mentioned that earlier, that the Evo Bomber is really the problem with Goblin Drill. Uh, and the way that you need to play this matchup is 
Don't let the Evil Berry connect. Easier said than done. And usually you need a Rocket Cycle, because they're going to spam Drill Poisons, and it's really, really hard for you to defend. That's more in double and triple elixir. Okay, he goes for arrows. We're gonna go like this, and because he went for arrows, we're gonna go for barrel, ice spirit. He'll probably just log. Okay, he goes for the evil berry. Might be a good opportunity for us to try and get our king tower activated. If he supports it, we're gonna go for a Tesla here. Because the Tesla will fire onto the drill. And then hopefully Barry shoots the Tesla. Nah, Barry's going down. Yep, 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 yep. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I just realized he missed the poison, so well played to my opponent. I'm going to Princess here and maybe catch Skeletons with an Ice Spirit. Oh, that works too, honestly. You caught the berry. I'm going to protect this Princess because, it, like, I was going to say, he's going to have to spend something on that. And now he wasted his arrows. He can go in for a barrel. And I don't know what he has to defend this. Yeah, he has to spend a Knight and Skeletons, which full defend, but all of that's going into the wrong lane. So that's a really good sequence from us. We have a marginal lead against this Drill player. Drill is a really, really gritty matchup. It usually goes all the way to the end. Oftentimes it goes all the way to the end, I should say. Good log by him, honestly. Really, really aggressive, but we barely took any damage from it. Now he doesn't have arrows, so he doesn't have a way to get this princess off the map, which is amazing. So that's why it's a really good good princess at the bridge. Yep, he had to play a berry. And look at the damage we're getting on his tower. Absolutely insane. So that was a really good sequence from us. And I've just seen that movie too many times with the Evo berry. Like, I just knew what was coming. I'm going to pressure here because he's low. I want to force out arrows here. I don't want him to support his drill with arrows. He goes for a naked poison. I mean, I guess it's not naked, but I'm just going to take my, my opportunity to rock it. We're going to Tesla here. Ice Spirit in front for the Goblin Drill. He hasn't been mixing up the Drill placements. That's a pretty important thing to notice is like, if they aren't mixing, mixing, up, mixing up their Drill placements, then you can kind of just defend it the same way. I think a good Goblin Drill player will mix up their Drill placements, but this guy's kind of an amateur, it feels like. Not to be disrespectful or anything like that. We're gonna get a nice King Tower activation here and we're one rocket away from winning this match. Okay, I lied about the King Tower activation, but we're all good here. Cycle log, back to rocket. So good game. Honestly, that was a pretty easy Goblin Drill matchup. I played against better Drill players, uh, but the fundamentals of what we did were really good. So good game against Kevito. We'll catch you in the next match. Okay, into our next match against Ninja. <gasps> okay. Everyone and their mothers running the Dagger Duchess. Hopefully, uh, y'all are enjoying the content so far. Thank you for all of the support that y'all have given me on you know the videos and the shorts and stuff like that. Okay, this is... The deck that I've been waiting to play, it is Giant Beatdown. This deck, for those of you that don't know, if you live under a rock, it has the highest win rate in all of Clash Royale. Of all decks, the highest win rate. In my opinion, it's kind of like a no-skill deck. It's Giant Beatdown Pump with Evo Zap, Night Witch, Giant, Arrows. Uh, and it's really frustrating to play against. So it's not a great matchup for log bait, but I, my goal is to prove to you that you can win this matchup. So we're going to see what we can do here. Doing it for the fans. My, my advice is to always rocket the elixir pumps. Um, except sometimes in triple elixir, you, you can get away with ignoring them. We're going to Tesla all the way over here. You want to pull the giant as far as possible across the arena. We're going to block the evil berry here. Just to keep my princess alive, I think it's worth. Okay. And I'm just going to rocket here. And he still needs to respond to my princess. So pretty good defense all around. We took a little bit of chip, but uh, we got way more damage on the left side with our rocket. And he has to spend four elixir on the princess. So, so far, so good. Honestly, similar to the Goblin Drill matchup, one of the biggest threats is the Evo Berry. Because sometimes you'll defend with a knight, and they'll just get an Evo Berry lineup on your tower. So be really cognizant of um, the Evo Berry. Try not to give them value. I'm going to princess in the back. Yeah, he cycles his zap. I was thinking of princessing at the bridge, but in this matchup, I like to princess in the back because she forces out a lot of elixir from your opponent. Um, and she's really helpful against the Night Witch. I do want to say, I haven't seen the Night Witch come out yet, though, so I'm curious why he hasn't played it, or if he, if he has it or doesn't have it. Nice, we got rid of the Bomber. That's huge. <laughs> Missed uh, Tesla placement by yours truly, unfortunately. Little Prince locks onto the tower, so I need to go for this. I put the Tesla one tile too low. Okay, he goes for arrows, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this. We'll see. He has to, like, bury or something. Okay, nice. Evo Zap. Honestly, if he's using the Evo Zap like that, instead of using it on offense, that is a, a really big win for us. 
I mean that. We're going to Tesla high here only because we need to take care of that evil berry. And so we're going to sack a little bit of damage here. He goes for arrows. And uh, I think that was worth it in that situation. I told you that evil berry is oftentimes the biggest threat. We're going to eat one Phoenix shot here. Hopefully. Oh, right, two Phoenix shots. <sighs> yeah, I expect him to go in here. Yep. There we go. That's the Tesla placement that we want. We're going to rocket this. Oh, did we... Did we miss the pump? <laughs> or is he just back to another pump? What just happened? Okay, we're going to try and get a King Tower activation from the Evo Berry. Never mind, we're not going to. Okay. Did I miss the Elixir pump? Okay, whatever. Well, I need to rocket this one. Evo Knight's going to tank a lot of the Dagger Duchess daggers. We're going to go like this to DPS the Giant down. Got to get my head back in the game. This game is not over. Let's, let's be smart here with how we play. We have a lot of damage on both sides, which is awesome. We're going to go like this. Knight high. Goes for the Evo Zap. But I think we're okay. Oh, he activates King Tower. That's a pretty big mistake. At some point, we need to predict something. But I guess not yet. We're going to wait. We're going to bide our time here. Okay. Waste the Phoenix. It's pretty big. Little Prince going to go down here huge. We're gonna have a nice little counter push here. I'm gonna go like this to force out arrows, hopefully. Princess, Ice Spirit to maybe catch a bomber on this side. Nah, he just goes for a Phoenix. That's the right play, I feel. For him, anyways. Okay, Dagger Duchess is low. We have two Teslas up. That's huge. Princess opposite lane to help DPS down everything. And like I said, Evo Berry is the only thing that really kills us here. That's why I played the Knight off to the side. Huge. Huge Evo Berry catch. He was going for it onto my uh, Knight. And now he doesn't have it in cycle here. We're going to just pressure as much as possible, get another Tesla down. And the tides are very much in our favor right now in terms of the momentum of the game, it feels. No, I should have cycled more rockets. Ugh. Well, that's a good game. We're going to keep that in there because it was a good match. I'm proud of how I played. I should have cycled more rockets when I was, like, dominating the tempo. So, GG's to this guy. We'll catch you in the next one. And into our next match here against Baby Wizard of the Oda Clan. All right. With my starting hand here, like I said, I'll just kind of wait for a second. Uh, and then I'll go for a princess at the bridge. The thing about this match is... Uh, oh, lol. I'm going to knight here just to soak up some of the damage. Uh, okay. W tornado by that guy. He doesn't have NATO in cycle, so I'm going to barrel like off to the side. Looks like he's playing the Remy Alley deck, so he'll have log as well. So this deck runs magic archer, tornado, miner, wall breakers, all of that good stuff. So Okay, Dagger Duchess is going to clean up everything. Dagger Duchess is so good against this deck, it feels like. A lot of times, I don't think this deck runs a big spell. I think its only source of damage is Magic Archer lineups and um, the Miners and stuff like that. So I'm going to see if I can predict the Marcher here. I'm going to go like this with the Knight. Yeah, he doesn't bite. That's fair. It's not the end of the world there, to be completely honest. Okay, since she's out of daggers, I'm going to do this. They might choose to activate King Tower or they might go for the Log. Yeah, interesting, they just eat it. I don't agree with that. <laughs> I'm going with the Goblin Gang. And I don't know what this guy's doing. I played a lot of people that run the Remy Elliott deck. And this guy's playing it really, really strangely. One thing about this matchup is you need to take damage, damage where you can get it. So I'm absolutely going to rocket that Magic Archer and not look back. This matchup gets really, really chippy. Log here onto the Miner and to the Spear Goblins. We're going to immediately Princess. He's not going to be ready for it. It'll force out the Evo Knight, probably. Ah, oh, regular Knight. That's even better. If he goes Wall Breakers, we can go Tesla. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go like this. Pull over the breakers. Ice Spear here just to make sure that knight doesn't get any damage on our tower. And we found ourselves with a massive lead. In this matchup, you need to watch out for the magic archer. Um, you wanna play your goblins on the miner and then maybe predict the marcher with like a knight or something like that. Okay. Marcher, very, very dangerous. We're gonna log. Knight in the back. 
and then Goblin ganks around just to take care of that and Princess Lee quickly Princess at the bridge. We can log if he goes Spear Goblin. Since we caught the the uh, bomb tower, we're gonna go like that. Have log ready here. And look at the amount of damage we got. Absolutely crazy here. Crazy amount of damage from us. Goblin Gang here because she's out of daggers and we want to DPS down that Evil Knight as quickly as possible. You can see it's barely going to even make it to the bridge, which is exactly what we wanted. Princess is going to clean everything up over there. We're going to knight in the back. And like I mentioned, all we need to do here is make sure that we don't give him an... I was going to say a magic archer lineup, but he played it on the opposite lane. So we're just going to go for the rocket here. And man, we are absolutely tearing into this guy right now. Log here to take care of all of that. He cycles the log, so we're going to go like this. If he goes for wall breakers, we can go for the Tesla. Really good defense by him. Yep, there we go. Evil Tesla plus Ice Spirit is going to do an immaculate job of cleaning all of this up. Beautiful work on behalf of the Tesla. He hasn't predicted my princesses all game. This is going to put it into rocket range. So GG's against this guy. Um, I've just played a lot of that matchup, so I really know how to play it. So if you struggle with that matchup, hopefully that was helpful. We'll take the dub. Catch you in the next one. And our next match here against Samurai. Um, running the Dagger Duchess, no surprise. He goes for a princess of his own. We're going to Goblin Gang to immediately DPS that down. And uh, looks like we're running a little mirror match. I'm going to go like this because I think he's going to Goblin Gang. Usually when people use their log on offense, they'll Goblin Gang on defense. But I guess that's not the case here for this individual. Ice Spirit here just to make sure that this knight... Only gets one shot. No, nah, no damage. Perfect. Perfect start to the game, I would say. Okay, interesting. Okay, not a true log bait deck. So somewhat a log bait deck, though. We're going to do this. And then this. And DPS all of this down. Goes for the log. That's fine with me. No mortar shot. So not a true log bait deck. He's running something a little different. That's good to know. He probably doesn't have Goblin Barrel. Which is really, really good for us, to be honest. Okay, there we go. But he does have the Dark Goblin. The important thing is to know what to use the log on, whether it's the Princess or the Dark Goblin or the Barrel. But it looks like here I can actually get away with logging um, the Dark Goblin or the Princess, which is good to know. I was a little slow on that rocket, so he gets one shot. So it's a Mortar Bait deck. He probably runs Poison. Whenever you see Mortar, like 99% of the time they run Poison. Uh, rocket is also common, but it's usually Poison Log and sometimes Tornado. So we're, we need to watch out for the Evo Mortar. The Evo Mort Mortar is very threatening in this matchup, and I would a thousand percent just make sure you have Rocket and Cycle for it, and you'll be okay. Let's go. Okay, he just cycles a Fireball. So it looks like his spell is Fireball instead of Poison, which I'm com I'm cool with that. Okay, he could, he's kind of aggressive there. He cycles his Log, so I'm gonna go in here, and you can see he's gonna take damage. Like I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure if I agree with that play, to be completely honest with all of y'all. We're just going to log here. Ice Spirit for the Princess and or Mortar. Yep, beautiful. Ice Spirit's going to tank for one of the Mortar shots. Oh, bad timing there with the Ice Spirit, but that's okay. One Mortar shot won't kill us. Kind of are in a position where we need to claw our way back into this game. Fortunately, our Evo Knight aligns with his, his Evo Knight. Come on, one, two. I need to DPS it down, so I'm going to go like this, hopefully force out the log. Yeah, we do force out the log. Beautiful. Now he doesn't have anything he needs to fireball that, I think. Nah, uh, he opts not to. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, I misplaced my... Oh, I didn't. Okay, I thought I misplaced my Tesla. I was going to cry. Ice Spirit to make sure my princess survives. So you can see here my princess is going to kill his princess. He's probably going to log here. That knight is going to get taken care of. And we're at a small deficit, but, you know, we're going to bring it back. We can bring it back. He was trying to protect his princess as well. I, I I understand that. We're gonna immediately go like this to try and catch like a cannon or something. Perfect. We actually caught the mortar and we caught the cannon. Uh, mortar still gets off, unfortunately. I could rocket that, but I think I'm gonna play it safe and just be happy that we are now in the lead. And like I said, I can log the princesses because he doesn't have a barrel, so it's a plus one trade every time for me. So I'm super fine with that. And we're going to go like this just to establish a bridge presence that it's annoying for him to deal with. 
We're gonna go like this. That's what I'm talking about. Whatever he plays is gonna go into the Tesla, so that's really good for me. And we get two shots. So Knight here, just to make sure that his Knight actually takes damage. And remember, he doesn't have Barrel, so I can log the Princess every single time for a plus one trade. So I'm gonna do that. It's either log the Princess or log the Dark Goblin. Evil Knight's gonna be soaking up all of this, sponging it up. And he goes for a Mortar, kind of out of desperation, it feels. Knight here to protect my Mortar, log on to all of this going down we're gonna go princess immediately <laughs> and you can see like this deck actually we're kind of outplaying mortar in terms of the bridge battle and that's probably gonna put it into rocket range so i think he's gonna give up here so good game against this mortar player kind of an annoying matchup sometimes you need to play aggressive uh but i would say we brought it back i'm really happy with how i played so ggs to samurai we'll take the dub catch you in the next match match here against fab sava fab shava you're going to go ahead and give me the the heart. I don't have the best starting hand for this. It's kind of unfortunate. Kind of just have to cycle our goblin gang. And then I'm going to cycle a knight here because that's going to get DPS down pretty quickly. And what else do I want to do here? I guess I'll Tesla just to get this taken care of. Hopefully he doesn't have like hog rider or something. If he has hog, I can go for like a rocket. Okay, I'm actually going to go for princess because we have the Tesla up. You'll have to spend something on it, and whatever he spends is going to die to the Tesla. If I was crazy, I could have protected my princess, but I, I'm just, I just decided it was best to take my damage and move on. Slow rocket from me. Actually, we do hit the little prince, so that's pretty huge. I'm going to Goblin Gang here. I want to force out the log, or if I force out a troop, walks kind of towards the Tesla. One little Spear Goblin hit. Okay, so again, playing against Mortar. That's so interesting. Mortar doesn't feel like it's a really prominent deck in the meta, but I guess I'm wrong. We're going to eat one Knight shot here. We'll accept our fate. We have Knight in cycle for the Mortar. And um, I'm just going to play it in the back. I can distract the Mortar with an Ice Spirit as well. Um, if he does go for the Mortar. So I don't mind cycling my Knight like that. He goes for the LP in the back. Fair enough. I'm going to go Ice Spirit to like reset. Uh, ooh. Sorry, I had to, like, focus on what I was doing there. Uh, so I rocketed the Evo Mortar. And then... Rocketed the Evo Mortar. And then I kind of ignored the right side. I, I had to do that. Okay, so that was kind of stressful. I had my Evo Knight for his Evo Knight. I rocketed the Evo Mortar. I pretty much do that every time. Uh, and ignored the little prince. This will force out a log because the knight is going to sponge up all of these daggers. Ooh, it didn't, which means we're going to get good damage. That's great damage for us. So once again, we're in the damage lead. We survived the Evo Knight. We survived the Evo Mortar. We're going to Ice Spirit here. And I meant to play that in the opposite lane to distract. So that was kind of my fault. I, I messed that up a little bit. He goes for the poison. It's a pretty good poison value for him. Unless the princess doesn't walk in. I hope that that is the case. Come on. Princess stays alive. Nice. He thought he was going to hit everything with that. We're going to Goblin Barrel. Just one tile in the back so we can't log my princess and um, the barrel at the same time. Log here will actually keep my princess alive, I believe. No, she goes down. Oh, no. Yeah. I go like this to protect my Tesla. Yeah, he had the same idea. If that Tesla's up, he can't go in for the mortar, so it's kind of a nightmare for him. He uses his bar barrel, so we're going to go in with our own barrel. Oh, I'm really tempted to take that rocket, but I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to chill for now and get ready to rocket a potential mortar. Okay, he just opts to take the poison. It's understandable. We're going to do this, actually, because I need to DPS down his Evil Knight as quickly as possible. Because his Evil Knight, Evil Mortar push is really deadly. Hopefully this forces out a log. Okay, forces out a poison. I don't think he has Bar Barrel and Cycle, actually, now that I think about it. So this is going to be troublesome. Oh, he cycled back. Okay, good, 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 good. I need to stop giving him poison values with my princess. I'm going to play the princess, like, way over here from now on. Cycle my own knight just so I can get to my Evo one. Tesla at the bridge here just to establish a presence. And then if I go like this, this should take care of the little prince, I believe. Okay, we're going to rock it here. My knight is actually going to tank for that mortar, which is really nice. And now I can threaten princess at the bridge. Ooh, he goes in. He goes in, but now there's princess at the bridge. So he needs to decide if he's going to support this or if he's going to defend the princess. And you can see there... When you play against Graveyard, you need to pressure. Because if you pressure at the bridge, then they can't support their Graveyard. So that was a really, really good timing. And kind of thematic of playing Log Bait is that constant pressure that you need to be applying. Yeah, I expect them to go in here. Yeah, he does. 
We're in a goblin gang kind of far away from our Tesla. We have to rocket this or we lose. Poison comes down, but it comes down pretty late, so we're like, okay. Pressure here once again. And we are absolutely playing great right now, to be completely honest. I'm going to not Evo Tesla. I'm going to save it if he goes... Oops, that was a misclick. I meant to play my Goblin Gang, but it's not the end of the world. Evo Tesla is a little more helpful with the bridge. We're going to rock it onto everything here. Goblin Gang just to keep it in place. If I didn't Goblin Gang there, I don't know if that all would have hit. We're playing, we're playing very fundamentally sound right now. And at this point, he really only wins with the Mortar Connection. So we're going to go like Ice Spirit here to distract, rocket onto everything. That's a good game against Mortar. Honestly, Mortar Graveyard can be a really hard matchup. I think we absolutely played it really well. So GG's that guy will take the dub. Catch you in the next one. Into our next match here against Rezo... Rezo... Kush? Interesting. And so far, so good. I feel like I just the only deck I wouldn't want to play against is Mortar because we played against it like so many times. But we'll see. Okay, he goes for the Hog Rider. I'm just going to go for a Tesla. If I had a Goblin Gang in hand, I totally would have played that. 4 for 4 trade there. We're going to Princess. The reason I Princess there is because if he played a troop, it would have walked into the Tesla. So uh, by going for that Princess, it basically forced out the log. Okay. Valkyrie comes down. I need to be wary of a firecracker here because he plays my tank. He plays his tank. I play my tank. I feel like that might have been a misclick, but I'm not entirely sure. Ice Spirit here in case he goes for like a high cracker. Firecracker. Interesting that he does this, to be completely honest. He gets, he gets one hit from it. Okay. XE comes down. Okay, okay. So it looks like he's playing the Viper deck, which is Hog, XE, Tornado, Rocket. So this will be a really good matchup. I've lost this matchup before, but in general, I would say this is good for us. Whenever you see Hog Executioner and Valkyrie, you need to be prepared because they have Rocket. They also have Tornado, so I'm going to put my barrel like over in the safe spot. I was trying to bait out his Valkyrie, and now you can see here, he couldn't afford anything right away, so he has to go for that delayed Tornado. So yeah, traditionally this deck runs Rocket. I mean, he could be running whatever variant he wants. So... A lot of times what this deck will do is they'll end up going for Rocket Cycle because it's almost impossible for them to break through with a Hog. Um, so you need to be careful of that or wary of that, not to give them too much Rocket value. That's why I Princessed in the right instead of the left because if I played the Princess in the other lane, I think they might have Rocketed it. You can see he played the Valkyrie there to help the uh, Hog Rider break through, but it's not really going to work, unfortunately. Maybe I should say not work in the way that he perhaps wanted it to work. Good news is Evo Knight is going to sponge up all of this Tesla damage. And my princess is going to live, which is really nice for me. Should force out an additional response from him. Goes for the XE, so we're going to do this here. Mm, maybe that wasn't that good of a play. Oh yeah, it could be worse. Evo Tesla going to help out a ton with this Valkyrie. That princess is going to work. Like, princess is really hard for them to deal with in this matchup. Which is kind of the reason that I like it. We're going to princess here because he goes for the rocket. Mm, unfortunate that that Tesla popped up. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Phew. Now we have two princesses up. I was going to say he wants to play something in the middle because he still has to answer both of those princesses. So now that he does that, we're going to go in here. Force out something. I don't know what he can afford right away. Hopefully the log comes down. Yeah, logs come down. So we can go like this. And we're going to princess in case he nados. Ice Spirit in case he goes for the XE. And that's great damage right there. So you can see he went for the rocket, but we didn't panic. We knew that our damage was going to be delayed, and that's okay. Tesla over here to clean up this Hog Rider. And we're looking good, good, good. I'm going to barrel in the back, maybe like juke something of his. Good XE placement from him in case I princess. I princessed in the opposite lane, though. So that's good for us. It's important to always be like at least a rocket ahead in this matchup. Okay, we have our Evo Tesla in hand as well. I'm tempted to play it at the bridge, but I'm not going to. Perfect, he's not going to break through here because Evo Tesla is amazing. Look at it go. And it lives for so long. He might go for a rocket cycle soon. I feel like that's what I see a lot of players do in this matchup is they'll go for that rocket cycle. 
or the Executioner Tornado lineup. Like, they'll play the Executioner and hope that you play like a Knight, and they'll try and get a lineup with the Tornado. So you need to be really careful with your mini tanks in this matchup. I'm gonna rock it here because he played that Valkyrie. If I played a, a Valkyrie, he a thousand percent would rocket it. And uh, that's gonna be a good game. Good game to that guy. That's a pretty tough matchup for them, to be completely honest, but it's important to take take care of those, those good matchups and win them. So GG to that guy, we'll take the dub. Catch you in the next one. Tough challenge for me. We were 10 and one, and then we got Lava Hound and Golem, which are pretty hard matchups for Logbay. We ended up losing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop into some top ladder here inside the top 4K in the world, uh, just to kind of emulate uh, Logbait at a high, high level. So we're gonna hop into a match here against Diego and um, kind of to emulate those last two games of a classic challenge and see what we can do. So just a little, some bonus games for you. I know the video is already kind of long, but wanted to at least play one game at a very, very high level. So he goes like that. Looks like he's gonna be running Giant Beatdown. I already know whenever I see the berry in the pump, it's Giant Beatdown. It's all over the meta. It's kind of chronic, honestly. Phoenix probably here on my Princess or yeah, Night Witch. We're gonna Ice Spirit here just to make sure that the Night Witch doesn't you know, do too much damage onto our tower. So this matchup's kind of tricky. Not tricky, it's frankly bad for log bait. Um, yeah, he goes for the giant right away. We're gonna put our Tesla like this, pull it in range of both of our dagger duchesses, and hope that we can defend. The good news is, is he does not have Night Witch to support this push. Uh, he does have the Phoenix though, so we're gonna Princess Way in the corner. Fortunately, the Phoenix walks in front, that's kind of nice. That's what we're gonna do mm. we're gonna give him one shot over on the side and then take care of the evil berry so i had a feeling the evil berry was coming i mean it's kind of obvious i feel like that's how they get a ton of their damage interesting that this guy runs bowler uh i don't usually see the bowler variant oh i'm gonna take this thousand percent it's gonna hit the bowler and it's gonna hit the night witch and now my princess is gonna stay alive so he has to spend on it he can't immediately pump he doesn't have anything cheap cheap either because oh he has zap we're gonna go like this because again i need to make sure that he spends something expensive on it so he can't go in for a pump right away beautiful nice so he opts to go for the punish instead of pumping up and i'm really i'm really glad that that is the case because i rocketed there i needed to make sure that he couldn't immediately go in for an elixir pump so that is kind of the sequence that unfolded there now he can go in for it so we're, we're going to do the be the next best thing we can do which is pressure and try and get, take care of the pump this way and he needs to choose what he wants to defend, right? Is he going to defend the pump or is he going to defend the tower? And you can see there, I think he had a little bit of decision fatigue. He had like a little bit of brain lag and he actually lost the entire tower. So that's absolutely crazy. We're going to preemptively Tesla because the only way that he wins is if he goes in here. We're going to get ready with our princess. We need to be mindful of the bowler and the evil berry, all of that stuff. Once that bowler crosses, I'm going to go ahead and play a knight onto it. He was trying to lightning and I think everything there. Fortunately, he was not able to do that. We're going to Tesla like this because the Shockwave is also going to take care of the Berry. We have two Teslas down. And uh, for a matchup that is pretty bad, I would say, uh, we absolutely like demolish this guy. So I'm really happy with the gameplay. Knight over to the side in case he goes for like a Berry. Yeah, he goes for that instead. We're going to log here. And even with Zap, it's not going to be enough. We're back to a Tesla here. So... Huge W against Diego, GG's. Uh, really bad match, but we ended up winning, so we'll take the dub, catch you in the outro. And that's gonna do it for today's video. Here's the deck one more time in case you wanna take a screenshot. It is log bait. It's pretty decent in the meta. Like you saw, I'm inside the top like 4K, 3K in the entire world. So it is absolutely viable, especially if you're at mid ladder, upper mid ladder. Definitely give this deck a try. I promise it'll make you a better player. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.